Hi everyone, welcome back to the Trothroads. Today we're having a look at Kingfish's The Thrill Is Gone solo. This is a cool one, some great licks in here. By the way, before we do that, if you could suggest some material for me that you'd like to see on this channel, that would be really good. Anyway, I'll take you through all these licks. I'll let Chris play the lick first, and then I'll repeat it and break it down for you. So, first lick, we have this. So two strikes on seven on the B, bend up ten on the B, two times, and second time add some vibrato. Then we have list lick. Another cool one, this is seven on the high E, seven on the B. And then bend up a half step, this ten on the high E. And then seven on the high E, seven on the B again. So far we've got this. Then we're going to bend up ten on the B. And then seven on the high E, pull ten off to seven on the B. So far we've got this. The M bit. This is where you're going to bend nine on the G, up a whole step. 7 to 10 on the B, 7 on the high E again, 7 on the B again, and then that bend to finish it off on the 10th fret. This phrase is uh, 7 on the high E, and then 10 to 7, but it's a pick this time, on the uh, on the B string. To finish it off, you're going to bend 9 on the G up a whole step, let down, re-pick it, 7 on the G, 9 on the D. we have to end off this idea. This is 7 to 9 on the D string and then slide 7 up to 9 back to 7 on the G. And again a bit of vibrato at the end. Now, this lick is a bit of a tricky one. It's just kind of hard to remember, and you've got to think it, uh, learn it as a few different licks. So here's the first lick. So you're going to do this. So now, what we've got this is 9 on the D, 7 to 9 on the G, 7 to 10 on the B, and then you're going to kind of go up the natural minor scale. This is 7, 9, 10 on the high E. When you get to 10, you're going to pull off 10 to 9 off to 7. This next bit is 7 on the B, 7 on the high E, back to 7 on the B again. All right, so this, that's the first phrase. All right, now we're going to do this lick. Let me play it slowly. So the first lick is this. All right, so let's learn this in three different parts. So bend up 10 on the high E. Let down and pick 10, 7 on the high E, 10, 7 on the B. And then the last little bit of this stick is bend up that 9 on the G, 7 to 10 on the B. Alright. That's the next phrase. So, 7 on the high E, 
to 9, but pull it off immediately to 7 on the high E. Then bend up 10 on the B. All right, a whole step, and then go back to 7 here on the high E. All right, so. And then to finish that off, you, that lick there, that second one, pull 10 to 7 off on the B. Now, uh, so just work on each lick separately. So here's lick number one. And then this one. Okay, and here's the last one. This last one is nine on the G. Uh, pull 10 off to seven on the B. Bend up nine a whole step. And then seven on the B down the blue scale, 10, nine, seven on the G. Nine here on the D, and then to finish off, slide nine up to 11 on the G, seven on the G, and nine with some vibrato. So let's recap. Phrase number one. That's phrase number two. Now just learn those and then slowly, and when I say slowly, this may take a week or two or a month, it doesn't matter. Just get each lick and put it, see if you can put it together slowly. All right, and then see if you can put it together with the first one. Okay, there we go. Take your time with that one. Okay, nice kind of unusual quirky uh, blues lick this one. So, seven, nine, eleven on the D and the same on the G. And then, Eight, ten, twelve on the B. And the last one is nine, ten, and then slide in with your little finger. Well, that's how I do it anyway. Into the twelfth fret on the high E. So, so far. Now, when you get to this twelfth fret, you're going to pull off twelve, ten, nine on the high E. and then finish on 10 on the B here. And then we have this. Okay, 12, you're gonna pick that one, pull 10 off to nine on the high E. Pick 12 on the B. And then pull off 10 to nine, slide back to seven on the B. and then nine on G. Okay, then we're gonna do this. And then this is um, 10 on the B, pull eight to seven on the B, and then pull off nine to seven on the G. So far, we've got this. And then you're gonna pull off uh, eight, off to seven on the B. And then nine off to seven on G. Slide back to six, nine on the G, and then seven to nine on the D. So let me do that slowly for you. And if you put it together with the first one, starts um, 7 to 9 on the D, 
about seven to nine on the G. Then we go into this kind of repeating phrase. First bit starts, bend up 10 to 12 on the B. Then just two strikes on seven on the high E. Then we change the pattern a bit. And then from then on, you're going to do that same bend, 10 to 12 on the B. But this time you're going to do it three times. Now, you do that seven times. On the seventh time, to come out of it, you do that bend again, and then it's seven on the high E, seven on the B, and then bend up that 10 to 12 again on the B. I think I might have played one more there, but anyway, <laughs> you get the idea of that one. All right, so I'm going to finish the solo here on this lick. So this is very similar to the last one. So this is seven on the high E, that pick again from 10 to seven on the B. And then that idea again where you're bending up nine, let down to nine, seven. All right. But this time you're going to go seven, nine, seven. So seven, nine is on the G and then seven on the B. And then come back to seven on the B. Then you're going to slide from nine up to 11 and then catch 10 on the B. Okay, now you're going to do this. This is where you kind of got your, your first finger on the seventh fret, second one, uh, third finger, sorry, on the ninth, and you're going to hammer on nine to 10, then pull off 10 to nine, and then nine off to seven. That sounds complicated. But that's what it sounds like. You have to just mute all the strings as well with your little finger. And then nine, seven, nine on the D. And then curl that out of seven on the G. There we are. That's all the licks all the way through. So let me go back and play the whole thing for you so you can see how it goes. But remember to check out the original recording too. in there he has a great kind of mix between some traditional blues licks and some more modern ones too and he's got great technique and feel too so i hope you enjoy that thanks so much for watching see you in the next video